Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I wanted to do something very specific which you see on the screen. So we are having a, well, a state machine and once for example I am attacking this guy then he cannot attack back and this is just basically stun locking. So this is one way how you can do that. I am not the biggest fan how this is being realized because this is based on sprites and I will show you why and therefore this is a workaround but I prefer to do the blinking not with sprites but with image blending but here this is another way how you can do that so for example um, once I am in his attack range so this is a circle he starts attacking once I go out he becomes idle and for example if I hit him I stun lock him so if you want to know how to do that in Game Maker Studio stay tuned this is one up indie I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing because I try to upload every day a video and the last days I couldn't, sorry for that, I needed to change my complete setup because I don't have the Adobe products anymore, they got kicked out so I'm using now open um, source software which is of course good for you guys because well, then I can try you and show you some stuff in GIMP and other programs which are open for everybody. So this is pretty good, I guess, for the majority of people. So without further ado, I jump into the uh, code and stuff. And here, um, just one little thing. For example, if you think that the audio is lagging or there are some changes which you see are uh, well, notable, just well, write me a DM or a comment and then try to adapt it because this is basically for me a fresh new start with other programs which you see for example here audacity yeah um so how does it actually work basically i have this object enemy here and then he has a state machine so state idle and then he has four different states which is idle attack which is just an attack preparation then the real attacking and then a hit state and this is represented by let's say an idle animation so this is what you're seeing here idle hit hurt this is the part which i don't really like you can of course do that with sprites for example here he, he is getting like kind of stun locked so you have a hit animation don't really like it because this kind of limits me i prefer to do that with blending but this is another topic and then of course an attack animation so bam he is hitting so how does actually that look like let's go into our player and there he will just toggle between a idle animation and an attack wind up animation and for example in the idle we are just checking hey distance to object so this is what i do if he's in the range of 60 pixels attack and then we change to the state of attack which is just winding up and for example if we are in the state of attack we do the same hey maybe we are actually outside and then we go back to our idle state so we can, so these two can actually bounce back between each other and for example once we are in our idle state i have an attack timer this is quite crucial because in the attack i let it run down and then for example once i run it it runs down i just give it a fresh image index of zero so he can start the attack animation which you see on the right side which i showed you then of course res reset this uh, attack preparing timer and then go into a state which isn't actually basically here in the step animation it just state attacking and then we go into animation and this is a crucial part how you can set up of course there are other ways but this is how i do it and for example once we are or if we are all the time in our idle state we just say hey the attack timer is just uh, attack time so this is always a second he's preparing for a second and after a second he can actually attack and this is how it actually works so here we're just resetting and so we can every time we are in our attack preparation state we can attack again and then this is just for me so the state i just wanted to separate of course i could put it in here but this is i guess a cleaner way i just say hey what kind of sprite are we actually having because in our idle state we have an idle sprite being used so sprite index the enemy is idle hit he's getting hit and attacking while he attacks 
easy peasy. So another thing what I do for example, I use the animation end and this is quite crucial because let's say for example I am attacking, once again I attack, timer runs down and then I'm going into the state of attacking and I start with my first animation frame, then they run down and then animation and hits and then if we are in the state of attacking then we go back to idle and then we loop those two again. But here for example this is an automatic thing, okay great. But what, what actually happens if we are getting hit? And this is the thing which is basically a stun locking of the enemy. And so what I do I just have a state which I call hit and this is just based on animation and so what I do I just have a bullet, it flies and then it hits the player. So here I have a bullet, then it's having a collision with the player, then we say hey state is hit and then image index is zero because we want to start fresh and new. So we go into this uh, state and this sprite and then he's hitting one, two, three and then I want it to stop at this time and then make a short short break. What you see, then I say image speed zero, so he's not animating again, so he doesn't twitch around because that would that would kind of look silly. Then we give it off, let's say, an alarm of 15, so one quarter of a second, and then once the alarm is hit off, we say, great, you can start animating again, so image speed one, and then go to the state of idle, and then rinse and repeat. And this is actually how I stun lock it. And another thing which I put in here, because it kind of looked silly, for example, that I, every time I hit the bullet, then uh, the animation would uh, like repeat again and then it didn't look good, so therefore I just said, hey, if you are already hit by a bullet, or if you're in the hit state, then, well, this whole thing is not being repeated. You, you just destroy the instance, of course, you can, I don't know, subtract HP and so on, but this is just so the animation looks cleaner. So let's jump into the game because this is just basically it quite hopefully easy to understand so let's zoom into the guy for example if i'm hitting him then he is kind of twitching between those things of course you can do that and then well you can fine tune it a bit and then it looks in my opinion the best of course you could not do that what i just showed you for example all the time well put him into the hit state and make the image index of zero but this didn't look too good so for example if I show you it now it's okay but as you can see you, he kind of twitches and this is a thing I didn't want to so concerning the control not the best thing to do but oh well this is the way it is yeah now he's tagging he's off so this is how you can actually do kind of stun locking thing of course there are other ways for example do that with a variable and then you have a cooldown of the thing then you do the image blending which I normally do because I prefer it. there's more control than here this is kind of a in-between thing but it works all right so that was it for today have a good one